Hey guys, welcome for this uh, new video. We are going to do that uh, EV mode. It's uh, 5.06 uh, in the morning. I'm supposed to go work and uh, I have uh, right now 100%, 42 kilometers. It was 44 when I left my, uh, my garage. So just let's start and we go because I'm just a uh, little bit late and choose uh, IV mode and it's uh, IV mode let's put IV screen and let's go 100% 42 kilometers I'm supposed to do uh, normally around 40 kilometers By the way, the temperature this morning it's uh, 20 degrees and um, I'm using the ventilation of the car. The fan is running a little bit um, uh, high. Let's turn to 90. That will reduce the speed of the fan. So the highway the ring highway it's limited to uh, 70 let's put the cruise control so full IV mode We start at uh, 1390 kilometer on the odometer. And uh, sometimes why the car is doing that uh, beep beep, it's to uh, indicate you that you are on a um, uh, zone where that uh, rather get picture of you if you uh, go over the speed limit and uh, it's just uh, just right here so still at uh, 70 km per hour on the uh, probably as you can see uh, the number of uh, the RPM not appearing and we have just only that uh, blue arrow that indicates you when uh, the car is accelerating or uh, green if uh, decelerating with brakes and recharging the battery So after uh, after three kilometer, we are at uh, 96 percent and uh, 40 kilometer remaining. So I have to say that uh, for me it's a little bit boring to do that the early morning most of the time when I have uh, to go to work early like this I rather prefer to listen to music but if I put music in the car right now it's going to be uh, like a copyright strike on, um, on this video and I don't want that so no choice to uh, remove the music or I can put mine I mean uh, uh, I will have a copy uh, copyright strike on my own music but that's fine because this will go on my pocket but uh, not on the pocket of some other Slowing down 
now at 64 kilometers per hour. So even at uh, it's 5:12 in the morning, we are uh, Saturday morning, which is crazy. There's a lot of people. That's crazy.
car in front of me or ahead of me slowing down to 70 so probably getting that uh, e-bike uh, compared to that electric scooters probably good investment just turn on the right hoping it wasn't since a long time uh, I did something a little bit more professional this morning I have uh, fixed uh, everything to the roof of the car Good things about uh, this uh, IV mode this morning we have no traffic and I expect that uh, we will be uh, just uh, running straight to my car park it's 525 just uh, slowing down that car in front of me uh, like running slow and now we are climbing the hill and uh, as you can see that blue arrow is pushing a little bit more so let's uh, engine I don't know why let's check yeah I'm still in IV mode and um, the, um, that's incredible the car decided to uh, put the um, petrol engine on it's probably because uh, I need more power about that car that it was just in front of me and uh, let's see so now we are back on the uh, IV mode that is just incredible I didn't expect that I was expecting that the car will stay on uh, IV mode all the time expected that car will uh, probably uh, drive at uh, near the speed limit the car uh, for uh, the speed limit was uh, 110 uh, I was driving around 90 but the car uh, that that car in front of me was driving around uh, 80 so work we still 
have uh, 57 57 percent on the battery 23 kilometer remaining since we left it's uh, I don't remember 16 we did 26 uh, we did 26 kilometers again at uh, 62 km per hour by the way the limit here is just uh, 50 but I'm just leaving the exit about this uh, IV mode is I'm doing lo uh, a more, lot more kilometers than uh, when I'm staying in, uh, in town uh, for example we are uh, 21 I did like 31 kilometers I'm just one, 
one or two kilometers away from my car park and uh, we used uh, 53% and we still have 18 kilometers remaining so it's a pretty good average um, don't ask me to drive more because I can't I have to go work uh, I will probably do uh, another like this to go at the end of the battery but I need to find a good road without any stop or any things and do a, a test at uh, for example uh, 90 km per hour so uh, I think it's uh, enough I need to stop that camera because uh, I need to uh, put everything down before I get to the car park so uh, thanks for watching hope that um, will help for some of you and uh, see ya resume what's happened this morning about uh, the uh, EV mode um, everything was fine until I found that white car just in front of me uh, driving uh, very slowly the place where uh, we were it was like uh, 90 kilometers per hour that the limit speed and that car uh, was driving around 75 or 80 i don't remember and um i couldn't stay just behind and i you know i just put my left blinker on and when i get on the left lane the petrol engine just kicked down and uh i was surprised but uh, not really at some point. Why? Because um, this is the things that I have discovered. Uh, there's that uh, blue arrow that go up and down to indicate you the power that you put on a, on a throttle. And if you go over that uh, thunder sign on the, on the, on the, top, lim on the top limit, uh, if that blue things arrive there that stop and start the petrol engine even you are in full um, EV and uh, I think you cannot bypass that things it's like you need power the car will provide you that power that you need to reach up again uh, that speed that you have already selected on um, on the cruise control yeah the cruise control was set and uh, probably uh, probably the car or you know probably the computer um, make uh, things to get normal and provide um, maximum power uh, yeah this is the things I was driving with the um, uh, cruise control I didn't uh, drove that car just without so um, I don't know when I will do another um, IV uh, test but uh, right now after uh, 800 kilometers um, with uh, uh, using hybrid IV and uh, save mode too because uh, yesterday I've been like uh, 60 kilometers uh, away from Paris so I have wanted to save the battery the maximum that I can because at the place where I was uh, it wasn't any charger or uh, anything to charge the car that's the other problem about um, uh, hybrid car uh, why? Because uh, actually most of uh, the government around the world they telling oh you have to get hybrid uh, electric and stuff like this but the infrastructure everywhere they are not well equipped and uh, this is a problem because even you have a plug in your garage or at your work or even at uh, some gas station they are not uh, well e equipped so that means you have to uh, look uh, where you can charge your car 
even that you have that option um, on the map, uh, the, the screen map of the car, you can click on uh, looking for a plug to charge the car. Uh, sometimes uh, it's not possible to charge the car where it's indicated. So it's probably updates, but the opportunity to charge the car, it's not. Uh, I will probably make a video about, uh, uh, for example, uh, when you go to, um, to a mall or a place, a grocery store. That's what I did uh, last week. It was outside of Paris and it was just only uh, one car spot to charge the car. And uh, that was really incredible. But it was difficult to use it. I used that DC uh, charger. Uh, just need to be complicated to charge the car like I did three um, three times to try to charge the car in DC and finally the the third uh, try it works but uh, in DC it charged like uh, in 40 minutes instead uh, seven or eight uh, hour uh, yeah that's what I have uh, wanted to say about hybrid, uh, about the Defender, uh, as I'm an owner of it, uh, there's a lot to say. Um, I'm still um, really happy about, uh, about this car that uh, meets uh, most of my needs. Uh, of course, I could probably say there's some stuff that I'm not happy, but at the end, it's uh, probably better than the other car because it's more bigger and uh, there are some stuff uh, that they will uh, be very convenient about what I'm doing every day. So um, compared to other Land Rover, there are some difference and compared to Range Rover, uh, there's um, there's also uh, other difference. The Defender, uh, it's not kind of a full luxury car. Uh, it's uh, some things between um, uh, you need to uh, to use for uh, get some stuff in a car like uh, heavy things or uh, stuff with a lot of volume and. Uh, most of the car inside are plastic, so uh, to clean the car, it's very easy. You can just uh, uh, get that project to clean window, put it on plastic, sweep, uh, sweep it off, and then boom, the car is just uh, brand new. Uh, that's the good things. Uh, compared to Range Rover, it's kind of car that uh, you really take care because uh, it, it looks just different. But the Defender, it's um, it's still comfortable, uh, probably same as the Range Rover, and uh, that air suspension uh, are great too. There's a lot to say. Uh, I have probably said more, more was supposed to say. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, stop for this, and I will probably tell more about uh, that Defender as an owner and not like some other people they're doing tests but they are not their car you know and um, hoping that uh, this will help you to do the the good choice because uh, right now uh, we will be um, in a big trouble about buying a car with all rules coming about different place where you live uh, sometimes in your country probably uh, it will be better to get an electric right now than an hybrid because in the next two or three years things will change very quickly and this will probably impact uh, your wallet and we know that uh, a car is not cheaper and really expensive so uh, thanks for watching and see you soon guys